So good morning, everybody, from my side. And uh, thanks, Henry, um, Martin, and also Keith for inviting me here to the Merit 2018, again, a unique opportunity also to learn from each other. Thank you very much for that. So um, I was invited not to introduce the IMPM program. I mean, there is a boost on the first floor, I think, USS and marketplace. So what I was asked for was to share some personal experience. So my speech is not very theoretical or very sophisticated. It is just a personal speech about what did the program do with myself and how did this program change me. Actually, I participated already some years ago, um, 2010 to 2012, and I would like to invite you to follow me a little bit through this journey into myself. Ah, I think I have to use this one. Okay, good, perfect. So when I started and jumped into the IMPM program, I was working for Lufthansa uh, in a subsidiary, and in this company I was uh, responsible for marketing and uh, sales. So I had to develop the strategy, implement it, develop the products for the company, implement them, sell them, and I was also commercially responsible for our contracts. Now, in this situation, I, I jumped into the program that consists out of these five modules here, and what you see, and this is one thing I want to highlight for the program, is that the action mindset is a little bit overlapping everything. And the idea behind that is, of course, that everything what you learn may be nice for yourself because it creates understanding, but it is useless unless you really put it into action, meaning into praxis. And this is very much what the program is about. Now, from my perspective, it requires two basic things. One is the willingness to change. That is extremely important. If you're not going there as an open-minded person, being willing to question what you did in the past, then it does not really help you. So be open if you join it. The second point is I shared five modules. Each is around two weeks. I wrote five papers. I went to a managerial exchange in uh, South Korea. Um, I wrote a paper on that and so on. So it's a lot of work behind that. And of course, it also requires the willingness not only to change, but also to invest something into the program. So uh, you may ask, how is it possible then that somebody who is in a director level definitely loaded with a lot of work in the daily life can invest all this time. So how can you bring this together? And I think it is decisive for the success of the program that you're bringing in your own experience into the program. So by bringing in your experience, the involvement is much higher, and this involvement creates learning. And that is the first important point. The other thing is the other people do the same. All the participants are starting to share their own experience, everything coming from your own or their own context. So if you put that together, the learning is getting much broader, but it also, it's also very intensive and very deep. The second point that is important is that you take it back into your normal working environment. So meaning you have no additional topics coming from the IMPM, you're not working on new things, you're working on topics which are anyway on your agenda. The only point is you do it in a better way. So let me invite you to my own journey. When I started the IMPM, I, I felt a little bit like this puppet here, it's a bit overstressing. Um, but actually from my personality, I would say I have a little bit a tendency to think about expectations. So what is the expectation of my boss? What is the expectation of my colleagues, of my peers, and things like that? And to a certain extent, that is very healthy, because if you understand the persons you're working with, then it's easier to collaborate. So to a certain extent, definitely a good attitude. But if it's becoming too much, then the question is, how can you act as a leader? Because as a leader, you must give own direction, so you must understand your own purpose. And what I felt at the beginning of the, of the program, that was the part that was a little bit missing. And so I used the technique of reflection to start the transformation 
from stewardship to authentic leadership. Now, how does it work? First of all, reflection um, is not a dream. It's not a fantasy. Reflection is a technique which you have a little bit to learn. And using this technique, you're putting in more factors into consideration in order to make a better decision. This is all about reflection. And of course, especially as this is a university program, it must be based on a solid fundament. So first there must be something like a learning. And that is exactly what happened during this, this module. So in the classrooms or on site when you're visiting the companies, you're starting to learn. And then you take this learning and thinking about what does it mean for myself? What does it mean for my working environment? And you reflect about that and then you get a first gut feeling. What is the area I should look into? And in my case, it was exactly the leadership style. So I started to read a lot, like books and papers and whatever, to increase a little bit the theoretical fundament. And it was all about purpose, direction, creating trust in the organization, leading with heart, and being a disciplined leader. So that was actually what, what, what I tried to bring into my leadership style in order not to be like this puppet, but to leave my own fingerprint in the organization. And uh, how, did I, how did I do that? Mm. The first thing was to understand exactly the self, the self position. Where do I want to be? How do I want to act as a leader? So that was very much in the first uh, module, which was um, held in, in the UK, in Lancaster at McGill. And then I, I understood my own position here. So and being clear about the self, I went to the next module, uh, which was actually in, in Montreal, that was about the analytical mindset. And I used these techniques of analysis then to analyze the situation in the company and in the environment. And what I did is that I said, okay, let's create this global picture, this big vision, and then bring it down from the big picture to the values in the company. So this is what I call strategic management. And as you may already understand, that was not only based on the second module, but again also on the, on the first one. Because by creating this big picture for my organization, that was the first step to create exactly this direction and this trust in the organization. Now, having done that, um, I was thinking about how can I develop a process to design a strategy. And that was actually after my third module, which was in um, Bangalore about the collaborative, no, about the worldly mindset. Worldly mindset meaning taking learnings from other contexts and bringing it back into your own working environment. So I developed this process and I was clear about if I want to develop the strategy, how would I do that? What are the core elements? And you can see, if you remember what I did, that is very much related to what I anyway would have to do in my company because I was a director being responsible for strategy and product development. So at that stage, it was clear that I was saying, okay, I know where to go, I create the big picture, and I would know how to design this strategy. So after that, I went to the, I went to the fourth module, which was actually in in Beijing, and in Beijing it was all about collaboration and building up relationship. And again, I would say my nature or my talent is not really creating relationship. I'm more a rational person rather than emotional. I think there are people who can better do that, who have a natural talent doing that. That's not my strength. Um, but I learned something from the Chinese, because when they are building up relations or a network, it is not for the sake of the relation. They want to create some benefit for the network and for themselves. So I was thinking about whether those guys who have really a talent to create relations also have the instinct to create a relation that is creating a benefit for the organization because these are two different things. 
And I took the example from the, from the Chinese colleagues and started to think about what should be my network. Who are the most important stakeholders? So if I want to later implement the strategy, whom do I need? And which relationship do I, should I have to those colleagues in order to facilitate a smooth process? And I designed a map and I was clear about the roles, the responsibilities, and how I should interact with these people in the organization and also outside. And finally then, we went to the, to the last module that was in, in Rio. And uh, in Rio, it was all about action. So actually, I wrote a paper again about how to get it implemented. So what are the most important phases to get something which you understood in the theory implemented into the organization? And then finally, I did it. So basically, that was, that was my journey. It took around two years, a little bit less than that. And it really helped me to understand better how I fulfill my role, which I anyway had in the, in the company. Now, this is my story, but everybody in this module has this own story, has its own ideas, because my problems are not other problems. My challenges are not the challenges of other colleagues. So this is, as an example, I put Peter and Liu Su, they all have their own landscape. And what you take out of this program depends on what are you bringing in, how much are you engaged, what do you want to invest, and then you can see how the program speaks to you. Now next to this um, theory, there's uh, another point, and this is my last slide here, which I want to share, um, because I still have hundreds of pictures in my mind. And uh, that is uh, extremely important, because once it coming to a management decision, the picture is suddenly coming back to me. And um, then I remember situations. For instance, when we, oops, sorry. For instance, when we visited here this group of, of women in India, Actually, we, we learned about the bottom of the pyramid. And around 50% of the world, they have no access to the most important things. In particular, they have no access to money. So how can you create, how can you start your own business if you have no resources at all? From these ladies, we learned how they did it. And this is something you can transfer always back into your own organization. Because definitely all of us here, again and again, we don't have the resources, we don't have the capability, we cannot do that. So this is something which you learn and you have these this memories. You really know how you were sitting together here in this room and you learn from these people. And the same was in, in Rio, uh, where uh, young people living in the favelas have no future at all. But there was a company and they trained these people. And uh, after that they are either craftsmen or even artists here, they gave us a really nice performance, and you, you start to understand how people, maybe also people in your organization, which you may not really value, where you may think they do not have the capabilities, suddenly create something that is great. So it is not only a theoretical program, it's also something very practical, and I took a lot of personal insights from these visits here. Actually, if you would ask me um, what remains, I mean, this program is seven years ago. It's still fresh because it created different mindsets. And I think this is exactly the decisive point. It is not about learning a certain tool or learning about a certain methodology. These things are coming and going. But if you're changing your perspectives as a manager, this is the decisive point and that will always remain. And I would say, what, what I wanted to do is these elements like giving direction, creating trust, and so on and so on. That remains, it is completely independent from the position in which you are. You need that in strategy, you need that in operation. So I would say, for me, it was really a big value and really made a change. Yeah, basically, that is what I wanted to share with you. Any questions from your side? Anything else I can answer you? Thank you.